Hello everyone, welcome back to the AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM teams and today I'm gonna show you why I believe this is the best multimodal AI app, AI platform, AI tool, call it what you will. It's the best by a mile on the market. This tool literally has everything in it. AI image generation, AI video generation, AI document generation, they've got chatbots, they've got AI agents, they've got AI voice. It's all in here, smart routering. They've got all the best large language models. I mean, I've made 30 plus videos on this. Please take a look at the playlist. If you'd like to, I'll put a link in the description below. It's all there. In this video, we're gonna focus on a couple of the new things they've just added. The first one we're gonna talk about is Google Imagens V3. It launched yesterday. It was integrated yesterday. They do not mess around over there at Abacus AI. They ship hard, guys. The second thing we're gonna talk about is the big AI large language models there. We've got DeepSeek R1 Fast in there. We've got the O3 Mini family, including O3 Mini High. That's a weird name for a large language model, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then finally, we're gonna talk about the integration of Hume and Eleven Labs for those of you that like the audio side of things, the AI voice type of stuff. This is crazy stuff, guys. I'm gonna cover it real quickly. Let's get in, let's go. All right, so for those of you that haven't signed up, it's easy. Head over to their website, abacus.ai. I'm on it right here. Link, of course, in the description below. And then up at the top, you'll see chat LLM, code LLM. Just click on that. Now, when you do that here, it's gonna open up a new tab. And while it does that, quick note, chat LLM Teams is only $10 a month. I mention that because chat GPT by itself is $20 a month. So for half the price of a single license of ChatGPT, you get all the things I talked about at the beginning, plus you get an AI code editor called Code LLM, as you saw there. It's absolutely bonkers. Just click on Get Started. Once you do that, you're logged in, and then let's take a quick look. All right, once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks just like this, and right up at the top, this should catch your eye. You're gonna see that it says O3 Mini High. Well, there it is, guys. They've got the best large language models, and they've got the latest ones. O3 Mini Hide launched, what, 24, 48 hours ago? They had it integrated within 12 hours. If you go down the list a little bit here, DeepSeek R1 Fast and DeepSeek R1 is in there too. Best of the best stuff here. And if you wanna go ahead and use it as a standard prompt, just type in something. Why is Chat LLM the best multimodal AI tool? And then click on the go button and the large language model is called up. That said, I now wanna focus on the image generation side of things. Let's take a look at Google's Image in V3 and a few of the other AI image generation models. All right, so to access the AI image side of things as well as Image in 3 specifically, just click on the image button here or the image tab, I don't know, let's call it a button. And presto opens up and here we go. We can select our model. There are currently eight AI image generation models in there, including Flux One Pro, Flux One Pro Ultra, which is the big daddy. They've got that one integrated. They've got Image in 3, Dolly 3, Recraft, and Ideogram. These are the best of the best ones. For this one, we're selecting Image in 3, but I've got a lot of other videos looking at all of the other models as well. The next thing you can select here, number of images, is pretty straightforward, but this is new and fantastic. You can now do four images at a time. So sometimes you don't get it right on the first one. Ah, crack away at it four times. <laughs> Why not? For a prompt, let's go ahead and just type in a prompt. French Bulldog reading a book on the moon with a purple rocket. Why not? I got a French Bulldog, so that makes sense. Anybody that watches my videos. Also, modify the input prompt for improved generation results. This is for those of you that just type in a nice simple prompt like French Bulldog reading a book, and then you wanna see what the AI comes up with to sort of elaborate on your prompt. It just makes for a fancier prompt. I tend to leave this on because I love to see what the uh, AI comes up with, but this is optional. And then finally, aspect ratio. They've got all of the important ones, one-to-one -one if you're on Instagram, 69 if you're doing regular YouTube videos, and even 4.3 and 9.16 for those of you that are doing TikToks and YouTube shorts. Let's go ahead with that here. Click on generate. It takes a few seconds. It's gonna generate four candidates for me, and then I'm gonna show you the next cool thing. All right, welcome back. So here we go, it cooked up four four options for me and they're fantastic. Now, if I click on the first one here, you're gonna say, hey, this looks a little bit cartoony, and that is fair enough. That is actually because I left modify prompt on, so I let the AI sort of fill in some blanks here and give me some suggestions. Keep in mind, if you want it to look 
photorealistic, you just have to type that in. You know, French Bulldog reading a book, photorealistic, and bam, the prompt is perfect, and you will get that look here. Also, when I click on the first image here, for example, when I hover over the eye, remember that I typed in a very small, hey, French Bulldog with a purple rocket on the moon. Well, this is the size of the prompt that it came up with. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy. Sitting on the moon, lunar landscape, craters, a low horizon, and a starry night sky. I mean, crazy stuff. I would never have thought of that, and that's why I love that feature so much. But there you go, guys, and if you don't get the one you want, we can click on the next one. This one's pretty cool. It's kind of got that high contrast cook cool look here. Just remember, just go ahead, click on image, select it again, and then run it again, and then refine your prompt and go from there. That said, guys, now let's take a look at some of the AI audio side of things, pardon me. There's some sonnets that I'm going to create for you, and then it's going to do audio and play it back for you. You're going to love it. All right, so now we're going to look at the AI audio side of things here. So let's pack up our little bulldog in his purple rocket lunar adventure, and let's go over here to the left side up at the top here. I'm going to click on new chat. This gives us a blank slate, and also if you click on this little tab here at the top, you can go through any of your previous conversations, any of your previous AI image generations, video, etc. It's all in there, so you can go back and retrieve whatever, anything you've created. So here we go. To go ahead and use the audio, I'm going to go ahead and switch the large language model. We're going to go to O3 Mini High. This launched like yesterday, and they've already got it. So let's use it and see how it goes. I'm going to get it to write me a French... Or I'm going to write a sonnet. Write a sonnet about... Let's go with a French... Bulldog that does not listen to his dad at all. Okay, I want to keep this real. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm a I'm doing some real talk here. So I've got that dog. Here we go. So I'm just going to click on the go button here. And it's going to go ahead and write me up a quick sonnet. Now, do keep in mind that O3 Mini, when I click on the download button here or the drop down button, you'll see we've got O3 Mini, O3 Mini High. We've got O1 Mini. So for those of you that are looking for a specific model, it's probably in there. Here we go. Here is our sonnet. Now, beneath first light, a French bulldog strays while dad's soft calls float on the morning ear. Okay, this sounds like, uh, yeah, okay, a little bit too far, but hey, you know, we're having some fun here. Uh, but anyways, the audio side of things, well, watch this here. All you got to do is click on that little audio button here. It says sound. Watch this. A French bulldog's defiant dance. Beneath first light, a French bulldog strays while dad's soft calls float on the morning air. That is amazing. And that is with Eleven Labs. And Eleven Labs is the big one in terms of AI voice generation. They are generally believed to be the top dog. That said, I also mentioned they have Hume AI. Hume AI, before I click on it, is known for their empathic, their nuances. They try to create voices with emotion. So let's go ahead and click on that here. Let's switch it up. Let's see what this looks like. Cora is the original. Then we'll change it up. A French bulldog's defiant dance. Beneath first light, a French bulldog strays. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So there's Cora. That's done using Hume AI and their new empathic, I guess it's an empathic engine I think they've got over there. But here's the other thing, guys. We can go ahead and switch through them as I've done previously, or we can click on the change button. And here we go. We've got three of the voices. Uh, Hume AI doesn't have as many voices as Eleven Labs. But if I want to switch over back to 11 Labs, I can do that here. Click the Change button, and then look at that here. We've got Aria, Roger, Sarah, Laura, Charlie, George, Callum, River. I mean, so many different ones here. And, of course, you can select by, you know, by gender, accent, etc. Lots to choose from, guys. This is just a quick highlight, a quick update on the changes they've made in Chat LLM Teams to their multimodal functionality. It is, without a doubt, the best multimodal app, multimodal tool for AI on the market. I don't even think it's close. Click on the link in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.